heavyweight champion when he meets Chuck Wapner in a fight that became the inspiration for Sylvester Stallone's first Rocky film. Cleveland, Ohio, 24th of March, 1975. So Muhammad Ali in his customary white shorts comes out to meet Chuck Wapner from Bayonne, New Jersey. And straight away you can see Ali moving around the ring gracefully. The footwork is still there. He's making Wetner follow him around the ring. So far, Ali hasn't thrown a single punch. The famous left jab hasn't been used yet. Wetner can't get close to him. He's giving the crowd a treat here. The old footwork, he may be heavier, he may be older, but he can still move. And finally, Wetner gets in there. Referee is Tony Perez tonight, he separates them. And again, Ali is forcing Wetner to follow him around the ring. He's not throwing any punches himself yet. Wetner tries two jabs. Ali's expected to win this fight. Wetner is very much an outsider, a bit of a no-hoper. He's lost nine out of 41 fights, six of those on cut eyes. He's not a big puncher, he's a bigger man than Ali, at six foot five and over 16 stone. But Ali's expected to handle him easily tonight. See, Wetner's trying to get in close. When he does, all he can do is cuff Ali on the back of the head. And Ali pushes him off there and signals something to him there. That's what's annoyed Ali. It's those rabbit punches that are catching him on the back of the head. He doesn't like that at all. And he's telling Wetner that he doesn't like it. And he's telling the referee. It is most unusual for Ali to get so upset. He's telling the referee he doesn't want Wepner to rabbit punch him. Normally, Ali will take anything that people dish out in the ring. He's proud of his ability to take punches and to take punishment. He's complaining again. And referee Tony Perez has warned Wepner about slapping the back of Ali's head. The punches aren't that hurtful. They're just nuisance value. Ali doesn't like it at all. Look at him. He's... He's very distracted. And really, in this first round, Ali hasn't thrown an effective punch at all. And there's the end of the round. He tells Perez what he thinks. And there's Wetner in his corner with Al Braverman and Paddy Flood. And here's the point when Ali's just slapping him on the back of the head really it's an illegal punch they're illegal punches but he's doing it because Wepner was doing it to him you can hear him saying it to, to Tony Perez if you don't stop him I'm going to stop him well I think that's probably the whole idea of the fight anyway that he tries to stop this man Wepner has never been down in his life he's never been on the floor he's never been knocked out he's been stopped six times on cuts they say he's received something like 200 stitches in his face. And again, Ali's just leaning on the ropes, letting Wepner hit him. This is the sort of thing he did against George Foreman in Zaire, the old rope dope although Wepner is hardly a George Foreman. Ali's letting him pummel his stomach there. The crowd don't like it very much. There's a bit of booing in the background. And Wetner still insists on slapping him on the back of the head. He knows he's annoyed Ali. Maybe that's not such a good idea. And finally, Ali is, is launching some sort of assault. There's two good punches there from him. The first real two punches of the fight. Oh, and a terrific left hook. That hurts Wetner. Wetner's got an amazing ability to absorb punishment. He'll need it tonight. 
Ali's really standing to sharpshoot. Good combination there. Caught wet in a flush. Wetner's jab is ponderous in comparison to Ali's. Ali just snaps out, catches him in the face. Wetner sort of pushes his punches. There's a swinging right hand. And another left hook from Ali. He's beginning to really take this man apart. There's the end of the second round. Here we come for the third round. Muhammad Ali against Chuck Wetner, the man who's got no chance, the pundits are saying. Ali's really beginning to pay him with that left jab. He can't miss that big face. Wetner's got no defense against it. Head's knocked back all the time. As you can see, Wetner's very crude. He swings, he's, he jabs occasionally, but he swings his punches. He's not a big puncher. He's only scored 12 stoppages in his 41 fights. But he's a strong man and he's a very, very brave man. And there's Ali turning to Wetner's corner. He's saying something to Al Braverman and Paddy Flood there. It's a bit of bad feeling there. That left jab is really smashing into Wetner's face. He's having to just ignore it and come in. Again, Ali is annoyed about that. He's slapping him on top of the head. He's telling Perez he must stop him from rabbit punching. That left jab snakes home again. Really, Ali can win this as he pleases. It's a question of what Wepner can do, whether he can stay in there. He's got a history of cuts. He's, he's not had a cut for two years, his manager tells us. He's had an operation on his eyes. But against Sonny Liston, he suffered 55 stitches five years ago. 55 stitches in one fight. He's not been cut for two years, but the way Ali is jabbing his face, it's only a matter of time, I would think before some of that old scar tissue opens. Look at those punches. Wetner's got no defense against those. He just takes them. They wrench his head backwards. How does he stand up? Ali started the fight by dancing. He's not been dancing. These last two rounds, he's flat-footed. There, he's retreating to the ropes again, letting Wetner hit him. Ali's never been one for infighting. There you can see he tends to grab and hold on. It's the end of the third round. There's Angelo Dundee, Ali's famous trainer in his corner, Drew Bundini Brown. Now the fourth round. And Ali looks far more purposeful. He's gone straight in there, up close against Wepner, pushing him away. He's got his gloves high tonight. Usually he has them down by his hips. He's holding them up high, jabbing from that position. There's that jab, three or four jabs straight in the face. But Wepner comes rumbling in, swinging those punches. Still throwing that one behind the head, and Ali's still annoyed about it. And when you think over his career, how many low punches he's taken, Ali, he seems to be getting very upset about what are really just slaps. Oh, 
Wetner tries a good right hand there, but it misses. His mouth is hanging open, he's taking punches. He's trying, trying hard to take the World Heavyweight Championship off Muhammad Ali. See him swinging away there, he drops his head, he doesn't even look where he's punching. But he rumbles forwards, he's strong. Ali looks at the crowd. Those right hands are smacking away. It's the end of the round again. The wetness still in there. Most experts felt he wouldn't go further than seven rounds. Moving into the fifth round now. Wetner's still there. Still making a fight of it. And now we see the famous Ali. The, the lightness on the feet, he's moving around the ring. He's been planting his feet for the last few rounds and now we see the jab and move routine. Always moving to the left. In his younger days he could keep this up for many rounds. Of course now he has to conserve his energy much more. He's 33 years old, but still two years younger than Wetner. Wetner can do nothing about it when Ali decides to move like this. He's just following him around, throwing hopeful punches. His head's being snapped back by that beautiful left jab. Eventually, Wetner gets him close, but when he does, Ali just holds him, and the referee's forced to part the two of them. Even when Ali's on the ropes there, he's not offering much of a target. Ali is accustomed to people bashing him around the body, and there's the end of the fifth round. And Wepner seems to be complaining to the referee about something, he doesn't want to go back to his corner. There you can see them working on Wepner's face, which is beginning to look quite marked now. Which is hardly surprising at the punches that Ali has landed. And we move into round six now. Ali's again jabbing with that left hand. He's not moving as much as he has been doing. He's settled down on his punches. Again, he retreats to the ropes and lets Wetner rough him up. Wetner's trying to rub his face into Ali's face. Ali won't like that very much. He's very particular about his looks, of course. He's very much playing a cat-and-mouse game with Chuck Wetner here. The crowd don't like him lolling on the ropes there because Ali's not doing much and he's not offering much of a target for Wetner. And frankly, Wetner isn't really good enough to do much about it. Doesn't hit hard enough. Now Ali's just showboating around, making him miss. And clipping him, and there's the end of the sixth round. Now we move into round seven. This is the round that most experts felt that uh, Wepner would be lucky to see, but he's here, he's looking strong. He's taking a lot of punches, but so far his face is looking a bit marked. And there's the Ali movement again. He feels that he needs to wear Wepner down a little bit more. It's a wearing down process here. Ali's not the greatest one-punch hitter. He tends to beat men into submission rather than to knock them out with one punch. And he really can't miss Wepner with any shots he throws, can he? And Wepner can't seem to hit him. Snaking left jab, Wepner's taking it in his face. His left eye's beginning to look rather badly marked, Wepner. 
He's known as the Bayon Bleeder for obvious reasons. And I think, in fact, that Wetner's cut on the left eye. It's the end of round seven. Let's see if he's finally been cut after seven rounds with Muhammad Ali's punches. Yes, they're working on his left eye there. You can see trainer Al Braverman working on the eye. Ali's scorning the stool. That's a customary thing for him as well. He doesn't like to sit down between rounds. Here we come up to the eighth. And Wetner's definitely cut on his left eye. His features have finally given out from those punches. And Ali's again moving around him. He's got the advantage now. He must feel it's only a matter of time. One left jab. Neither of them made much action at the beginning of this round. Wetner's talking to Ali, asking him to come in. He's, yes, there you are. He's signalling Ali to come forward. It's a brave attempt considering the punches that Wetner's been taken when Ali's boxing. Why does he want him to attack him? There, Wetner's got him in close. He's, he's just tied up. Ali's very comfortable tonight. He's putting on an exhibition for everybody in Cleveland. There's that left jab smacking in. And Wetner's left eye is beginning to bleed again. His punches are very crude. That overhand right belongs to a cricketer's. And Wetner catches him in the body at the end of that round. And again, Al Braverman's working on Wetner's cut eye. His mouth's open. He's beginning to look blurry featured. And Ali's very relaxed in his corner as usual. Here we come up for round nine. Ali's very content to box at a leisurely pace, really. Wetner's not putting him under a great deal of pressure. He can move and he can jab and he can't miss this man. And there you can see the blood on Wetner's face as Ali jabs him. On a right hand and, and Ali's down. This is incredible. Muhammad Ali is down in the ninth round from a body punch from no hope Chuck Wetner. What are we seeing here? Ali retreats to the ropes. He leans on the ropes. Referee Tony, Tony Perez gives him the mandatory eight count. I don't think he's hurt at all. But he went down heavily on his back from a body punch, from a right hand to the lower rib. And that makes Wetner only the fourth person in history to ever put Muhammad Ali on the canvas. Quite an achievement for a no-hoper. Well, Chuck Wetner's got three kids. He can tell them all about that from here to eternity, really. But Ali's a bit annoyed about it, and he's coming back at Wetner. Wetner's hurt in that corner. He's been caught by punches left, right and centre here. He can't avoid them. And Ali is making him pay for that, that knockdown. And there's the bell to end a very eventful ninth round. Muhammad Ali on the canvas. Here we have it in slow motion. And there's a sort of slapping right hand and Ali had both feet together. Perhaps it was more of a trip than anything, but it's counted as a knockdown. Referee Perez gave him the mandatory eight. It's a knockdown. Here we are at the beginning of round ten. And again, Ali smacks into Wetner. I think we'll see him putting some pressure on Wetner now. He's gone ten rounds so far. Maybe Muhammad Ali feels that's enough. Wetner's face is certainly beginning to mark up rather badly. He's cut on the left eye. I, I'm, I'm not so sure that he isn't cut on the right eye now. There's quite a lot of blood around. And there's the end of the tenth. And Ali takes the stool 